Reddit. What's an unethical way you save money? I work downtown in a city where monthly parking is easily $150 plus per spot. My wife and I both have to drive due to schedules. So it would be double that. Found out that the casino downtown here gives you free parking daily if you bet $10 so we go and play roulette daily she bets $10 on red and I bet $10 black and each ask for our parking validation. One of us always wins, which doubles one of the $10 bets so we get our $20 back, boom. Free parking. There has been the odd time it has hit zero. In that case we each just lose $5 each and parking costs 10 US dollars total for the day. Edit, a few words to make better sense and thanks for the gold kind strangers. I pretend I'm gay. The gym I go to charges 50 bucks less if you register as a couple and not as a single. I don't have an so so my best male friend and I registered as a gay couple. The first day. The manager almost asked us to make out to prove it. He decided it was homophobic so he stopped. When we come in he's always staring while we use the machines together. Likely wants to catch us doing something sexual. I still use student discounts whenever I can. Not a student. I graduated in 2013. My senior year they came up with a new ID card. Which doesn't expire till 2018. When I was in 6th grade. They would give IOU slips to anyone that forgot their money for lunch. You were supposed to put your name and they would bill you later. I always wrote Cornelius Origami. My name is not Cornelius Origami. I accidentally discovered that the laundry machines in my building take 20 euro cent coins instead of the 2 dollar coins. The last time I was in Germany I saved as many as I could and now a load of laundry costs about 50 cents instead of 4 dollars. Imagine the laundromat owner going to collect the change. Who the duck is depositing euros? Buy roti sari chicken from store. Eat 3 stroke 4 s of it. Return it claiming it was undercooked. I had a lady do this every week at a store I used to work at. I hated her with every ounce of my being. Edit, guys. I was just the guy that made the chicken. Bumming off of different friends for their paid subscriptions. Netflix. Hulu Plus. Amazon Prime. Zfinity. Sam's Club. I pay for Netflix, I have 3 friends who use the account. They always pay for pizza and snacks at any social gatherings. I like your friends. When I get the cooked breakfast from the canteen at work. You're allowed 5 items. I always take extra bacon and hide it under the beans. That's free bacon. I never got removed from an employee discount plan for a job I left almost 7 years ago. I get 25% off every month on my phone and internet. Whole Foods trick. Fill your coffee bag with deluxe imported coffee beans. Write down the code for the cheapest kind. Hum thug life as you brew each morning. Whole Foods gives a 5 cent discount if you bring your own bag. Pick up a single habanero pepper. Comma free pepper. As a college student. Stealing silverware from the dining hall has saved me a ton of money. Plot twist, your tuition is covering the cost of replacing silverware stolen by previous students. Sneaking into meetings you're not invited to and stealing donuts and collages. You can even take this further. Collages, Texas. Probably Houston? Yes. In the 90s. I was starting my last year of school. You could have school dinners. Paid for in advance termly by your parents. Or you could bring a packed lunch. I was a packed lunch child. But if you forgot your packed lunch you could get a school dinner and pay for it the next day. One day I forgot my lunch. So I got in the school dinner queue and waited to be served. I thought they'd realize I wasn't a school dinner child and tell me to bring the money tomorrow. But they didn't. The food was actually not bad. And the next day I tried my luck again. They just assumed my parents had paid and nobody bothered to check. I got free school dinners for about a year. At my school they had free lunches for kids who were low income but to avoid embarrassment they were given cards that looked identical to everyone else's card the computer would just not charge their account. My friend would just give his card to other people and they'd get a free lunch. 
the system had no check to see if the same card bought 7 lunches in one day. France here. Some people create groups where they each give 5-10 euro month. The subway in Paris costs around 60 euro month, and use the subway or other public transit without paying. When one of them get caught, the group use the money to pay the fine. Link in French. Edit. Wow. Thanks guys. I can't believe how many of you liked my comment. If I can't find it on on demand for free or on Netflix. I'm pirating it. The problem is that I wouldn't mind watching something on a TV channel most of the time. But I'm not going to pay $15 a month just so I can watch one TV show. At the time the TV channel broadcasts it. With ads. For half the price you have Netflix. I can legally share Netflix so it's only $4. It's full HD and 5.1 sound as well. What's the downside? Nothing. So I'm simply not going to pay that much. What's the point of that? Back when payphones were a thing you could carefully shove the fat McDonald's straws into the change slot in my city and get free calls. Who figured that one out? Dollars to dimes it was a homeless guy. Buy senior citizen movie tickets online and print out at work. The doorman never looked nor seemed to care. They just point you in the direction of your auditorium. $2 saved per ticket. Charging. I found if you just walk confidently past the guy at the door they never stop you. I worked in a theater as a teenager and can attest I never gave a sheet if people saw movies for free. Someone else is paying for my internet. A few months ago I went online to see why I haven't been getting a bill, expecting to see a huge balance and a disconnect notice, instead I see my account is set up for auto pay. With someone else's credit card. This has been going on for little over a year and I do not intend raise any flags about it. I thought this was happening to me a while back. Turns out it was auto drafting directly from my checking account. Which is a different number from all my cards. I buy my movie tickets at the automated kiosks in the theater but I select the senior citizen's price. Spoiler alert, I am not a senior citizen. The high school kid ripping tickets always gives a slight pause. And then decides it's not worth the hassle to call me out on it. I commute to work by train and have a subscription ticket for it. But I don't pay what I really have to. I have to change trains on my way. But the ticket really only is for the one train route. No one checks all the zones marked on my ticket. Only if the date is right. This saves my about 30 euros per month. I do this for about a year now. My ticket gets checked almost daily. When I got to the cinema and I bring my own sweets and popcorn I'm always told I can't bring it in. I then ask to speak to the manager and tell him I have a server allergy to nuts or milk or whatever. He then just stands there awkwardly and just lets me in. I carry a good sized purse. Not so large as to be suspicious. But large enough to fit a couple of water bottles and a buttload of candy. I've never been to a movie theater where they insist on inspecting your bags. After Netflix removed the season of 24 I was in the middle of watching. I cancelled my subscription and resorted to. Oh. Uh, alternative methods of watching. If I am planning on going out and fancy a certain restaurant I go online maybe two weeks in advance. Sign up to their mailing list and give my birthday as being the day I am planning on going. Most places give you some sort of free before your birthday. Back when Redbox was a thing I would rent a game with one of those Amex reloadable cards and never return it. Can't be $2 for a $60 game. In my city you can either load a monthly subscription or just load a set amount of money into your bus pass. A monthly is $100. So when I was busing to work I used to just load $50 and not tap my cut on my morning rides. I would only tap on my way home because the transpo cops were more likely to be patrolling in the afternoons. Now I drive to work but the monthly parking pass is $200. Ain't nobody got time to pay for that so I just park on the side of the street where there are 2 hour parking zones. But I usually don't move my car every 2 hours. It seems those rarely get checked because in the 2 months I've been doing this. I've only gotten 2 tickets. 
at $50 a ticket. It's still the cheapest option but I don't even bother paying the tickets because I work in a different province than the one I live in and as far as I can tell there's no collaboration between the two vs vs traffic tickets so they don't follow up to make sure you've paid it. I've been stealing bottles of ketchup and brown sauce from my local pub for years. Hell. I'd say almost all of the glasses and mugs I have were liberated from that pub. When checking into a hotel ask if they give Walmart employees a discount. More often than not you get a 10% discount and I have never been asked to prove it. Not me. But when I was a kid. One of my friend's mothers, a pediatrician, would dilute children's vaccines to save money. Rightfully. She lost her medical license. My line manager will buy things online and if it isn't sent recorded delivery he'll contact the seller a few days after it arrives to say he hasn't received it yet. And get another sent for free. Whenever a package arrives for him at the office now I'll contact the company that sent it first to warn them he's going to do it. When we were kids. We discovered the hotel by the beach had a free brunch thing on the top floor every day. You needed to use a key card in the elevator to access the top floor. But we would go to the floor under it. And walk up the last flight. I assume some kind of fire code restriction was why the stairs weren't key coded. As dumb kids we were greedy and went too often and got kicked out eventually. But was nice while it lasted. They had a deal that their guests could use the pool at the hotel next door too. And no one ever checked so would do that as well. My girlfriend never put her license plates on her car. 2.5 years into her lease and she still uses the dealer placeholder. This lets her use toll roads and fast lanes without paying. She's never been pulled over but I bet that's going to be an awkward conversation someday with the way she speeds. Edit, just to clarify. She pays her registration and receives her plates. She just permanently stores them in her glove box. In high school had a good friend who worked solo in a small fast food burger place inside a gas station. East coast chain called Bullets. I would order a small side of fries and he would give me $30 worth of chicken fingers. Bacon burgers. Onion rings. Curly fries. ETC. Over the summer large groups of friends would go and order $10 worth of food and 12 people would eat like kings. We did this for years and nothing ever came of it except my friends and I all got fat during the summer eating 4k calories from that place most days. Thanks Christian. You're a bro. Got as much student loans, 20k euros, as possible from the government even though I didn't need it. Since the interest is so ridiculously low, 0.01% ATM. Since the inflation is higher than the interest rate, I am saving money that way. As someone in the US. Hearing the word student loans and saving money in the same post is weird. Not exactly unethical. But I dumpster dive. This year. I've picked up a microwave. A nearly new $200 D-Long I espresso maker. And a 52 inch Sanyo TV. Technically a dumpster and everything and it is private property. If you are a younger gal. Or a younger good looking guy. Just use people for free food. If you are a pretty good looking guy. Hit up a different cougar every night. Get them to buy you a decent dinner. It's not hard. I did this for a little while in college. Some of the women were good looking and I ended up bedding them. The rest were just dinner when I was broke. For women it is even easier. Hit up OKC. Hit up POF. Unless you are just unbearable in your personality and looks. If you live in a medium sized plus city getting at least 2-3 meals a week from random dudes should be easy. I had several chick friends in college who survived this way. Making do on packages of noodles is a lot easier if you can get a solid meal 2 or 3 times a week from randoms. When I was 8 I went with my mum to set up my first bank account after an uncle gave me £100 as a Christmas gift, he lived abroad so didn't see him often. For some reason they set it up wrong so the system recorded me as a member of staff. I'm now 29 and still have the same bank account. And now I get offered staff rates on loans and credit cards. It's great. I bought my PS4 a little over a year ago. Used. 
Netflix is still signed into the previous owner's account. I wonder if they ever think. Who is watching this crap? I dated this girl back in college. And she had her grandma sign into her Netflix account on my PS3 one time when we all watched a movie together. We broke up a week later. And it didn't ask me again for my password for almost 2 years. I watched free Netflix almost every night on that account without an ounce of shame. I consider this the most profitable relationship I've ever been in. I was buying makeup last month and used the self checkout. When I scanned my eyeliner. The machine kept telling me to place the item into the bag. Turns out the eyeliner was too light to register. So I threw a heavier. More expensive piece of makeup into the bag instead. Without scanning it. The machine was satisfied then. My wife and I used to go to the movies for a double feature. Which meant buying tickets for one movie and when that movie was over we'd just sneak into another theater for a second free movie. We'd always check the show times to plan when the end of one movie most closely coincided with the beginning of the other. One time we even planned ahead for three movies. But we were tired and ready to head out after the second. We'd always buy concessions so that the theater got some of our money. But that would also give us an excuse to go back to the lobby after the first movie. Refill the popcorn. And go back to the second showing without drawing notice. We probably did this about a dozen times. But now we have a kid and rarely get a chance to go to the theater anymore. My landlord likes me a lot because I have been in the same house for 5 plus years renting. So I get two parking spaces included for free. I only have one car so I have been renting the other spot to different neighbors for $65 a month. Free parking and $780 a year for no work on my part. When I was on a meal plan my first year at college I would always bring takeout containers into the dining hall and fill them with food. Always had a stocked fridge. We had a steak night yesterday. They flew in some Italian chef. I filled two freezer bags with steaks and hopped the guardrail on the balcony. I'm really looking forward to the results. Someone should try and do as many ideas in this thread as possible and see how long they can survive without spending any money at all. I think that someone should be me. Made a fake monthly train ticket pass. Worked for about 6 months. Saved $600. Got caught. Prosecuted. Paid $1,500 in fines. Got criminal record. FML. The greatest example I saw of this was a friend of mine who was touring in a band full time and they were making zero money. He knew a guy whose girlfriend worked at Subway back when they used give you stamps toward a free sub every time you bought one. I think it was something like 6 stamps got you a free 6 inch and all you had to do was buy a drink with it. She ended up stealing an entire roll of stamps hundreds of them, and gave it to my friend. It worked perfectly because he was in a different city every day so nobody ever caught on. He ate lunch and dinner nearly free for almost a year. Once in a while I'll get my morning coffee from a local convenience store and take a bunch of sweetening packets, sugar, sweet and low. Doesn't really matter, the rest of the time I just make coffee at home and use my stolen sweeteners.